Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys some really cool iPhone secrets. These are things that are on your iPhone and you'll probably never notice them. These are things that will help you appreciate the attention to details and the work that is put by Apple engineers into their software and of course all the cool features that the iPhone has. These are secrets that when you look at them, you will always remember them. When you do something, you do an action on your iPhone, you can never basically unsee that. You will always remember of that detail that Apple has put into those things. So here are some really cool iPhone secrets that you can never unsee. All right, starting off with the first one. So you have a flashlight on your iPhone. You can turn it on either from the lock screen or from the control center. But if you take a close look when you go to your control center at the icon of the flash, when you turn it on, it has that little switch on the icon which goes to the on position when it's on and it goes to the off position when it's off. So basically that will change based on whether the flash is turned on or off. It will change the position of the switch on the icon, that little switch that indicates the on and off position. Now the same thing happens on the lock screen as well. The little flash icon on the lock screen, you turn it on, it goes to the on position, you turn it off, it goes to the off position. That much attention to detail is really, really amazing. They took their time to actually put a like working switch on the icon of the flash for the on and the off position. The same attention to detail goes also on the icon of the orientation lock on the control center. Now you can see there is that like arrow with that little lock icon in the middle. Now as you notice that lock is unlocked. Right now it's on the unlocked position. But if you turn on orientation lock it becomes red but it will also lock that lock. So basically the lock, a lot of lock there will go on the locked position. And that's really, really interesting how they pay attention to this like small stuff on iOS. Now the same here, if you have turned on the timer on your iPhone, you will see right here. If I just start a timer, you can see the actually it will spin on the control center. That little icon of the timer will start moving when the timer is on. And while we're talking about it, here's another tip here. You can actually turn on a timer directly from the control center. Just for touching it, you can choose the minutes, the hours basically with a slider and click start right there to start a timer. This is like an extra tip for the video. Moving on to another detail, which is of course really interesting. And I was really amazed that Apple would actually pay this much attention to something and put something that meaningful on an icon of their devices. So right here on the stocks icon, you can see right there, it shows basically a chart of a stock, but that's, you might think that is random. That is not random at all. What that shows, it shows the moment when Apple outperformed Dell on the stock market. So that's really, really interesting. I believe this might have happened maybe in 2006, or I don't know, that might be the time when Apple just was worth more than Dell, but that shows that moment when the Apple stock outperformed Dell. And that was really important for Steve Jobs, and probably he did that, he put that there himself. Here's another really, really interesting one. It is found on the book emoji. Now, of course, emojis are really small and it will be very hard to notice that and what is written there. It looks like it's just like random text or just lines there, but it's actually a text from an advertising campaign by Apple in the early 2000s. It was called Think Different. And here's what it says. If you zoom in enough, you will see that it says, Here's to the crazy ones, the misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the round pegs on the square holes, the ones who see things differently. They're not found of rules and they have no respect for the status quo. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or with them about the only things you can do is. And that's what's written on the book emoji. You might think that there's just like lines, random lines there on an emoji, but it's actual text from an advertising campaign by Apple. 
Now, when you go to Safari and you go, want to go to your reading list, you tap the icon, you go to reading list, right there at the top, you will notice that there are some glasses that are the icon of the reading list. Now, they're just not like random glasses, they're Steve Jobs' glasses. You will notice them right here when you go to your history, into your reading list and bookmarks. Also, if you go to the share sheet, on your device and you want to add something to the reading list you will notice the same glasses right there the steve jobs glasses as an icon for the reading list and that's of course a very very nice touch now something really interesting is the voice memo icons it shows there a wave which is not just random it actually says apple this is really really cool the kind of attention that apple pays to this kind of stuff is really amazing so if you just go to the voice memos this is really easy to replicate of course take a look at the icon then go to the voice memos and all you have to do is just record and say apple apple and you can see you will get basically the same wave that you get on the icon just by saying apple that's the same way right there on the icon when you go to your apple maps you will see the icon and you think that's just a random like map there a random world that they have put on the icon of the maps app but that's not true at all if you go into maps and search for the apple park which is in california you will notice that apple has actually put that road right there on the maps icon so it of course has modified it a bit but this is what it is the apple park map here is also on the icon of the maps app of your ios device when you want to set a new wallpaper on your iPhone, of course, you go to settings and you go to the wallpaper settings right here. So you have noticed here, you have two previews, the lock screen and the home screen preview. Now the lock screen is basically like a mock-up that Apple does. Everything is basically the same here. 949, we'll say the clock, just like random stuff that Apple does with their mock-ups and their advertising and stuff like that. So it will be just the same, but the home screen actually replicates your current home screen and your icons layout so everything right there will show how everything is set up on your home screen so you can notice it here is exactly the same now if i just switch places here so let's just move this folder right here you can see i go back to settings and if i just come out of here come back in you can see it has actually switched the places there so it will all the time replicate the home screen of your device so you can see right there how it will look on the home screen of your device of course the wallpaper when you go to the lock screen of your device you can notice the home bar right here if you stay for a couple of seconds here you can see how it will move up basically showing you the gesture that you have to do to unlock your device so it swipes up and then it says swipe up to open basically it shows you a hint of the gesture that you have to use in order to unlock your device and last but not least is the clock icon. Now, a few versions ago, a few iOS versions ago, the clock icon used to show 949, which is the clock basically that Apple puts on every like advertising mockup or anything that they do. That was the time that they introduced the first iPhone. They basically thought that that will be the time during this presentation that the iPhone will be presented to the public. So they put that time so it looked really realistic but what does now the clock icon do it actually shows you the current time it does not show 949 anymore with the newer ios versions it will always show you the current time so that is it for this video guys these are some really really cool secrets that can be found within your ios device it's very cool how apple pays attention to these kind of stuff these details within ios and their devices of course that's why they are the cool company that they are paying that much attention to details and the user experience of course so that's pretty much it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you enjoyed these new things and learned something new for your ios device today again thank you for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video now we'll see you guys on the next one